Hey everyone, Ruben here, Kindred Dog PDX. I wanted to talk to you today about muzzles. Um, there's different kinds of muzzles. Sometimes they're necessary. Um, I know there's definitely a stigma associated with muzzles, like, oh yeah, you got a muzzle, you got an aggressive dog. Um, but that doesn't always have to be the case. Like, maybe your dog is nervous about going to the vet's office, you know. Um, that can be a stressful thing for most dogs because they don't spend a lot of time there. Um, and maybe you always have to like sedate the dog or <clears throat> something like that, you know, and maybe a muzzle would be that next step. So you don't have to do that anymore or um, maybe help give you peace of mind, um, you know, or maybe you're just, maybe your dog is dog reactive, human reactive, things like that. And these are things that you can do to help keep yourself safe, your dog safe, other people and their dogs safe uh, while you're working through these issues. And so what I'm gonna do is show you a few different um, examples of some muzzles that I use. Um, and then I'll also post a link in my, um, actually in the comments, just in the little introduction of this video, like the title of it, I'll post a little link to a, um, a helpful muzzle conditioning video, right? So a couple of different brands that we have here are um, the Baskerville. These ones here you may have seen um, at like just pet stores around town. These ones here are the ones that are available mostly like to purchase over the counter. Now these things are these things are great because it allows the dog to be able to drink water. Um, they can eat pretty good from this from your hand. Um, but the one thing that it, the one downside to this particular muzzle, um, a dog could still bite <clears throat> through this. You know, if your fingers got too close, it could catch onto a piece of your clothing. You know, so the dog still has an ability to get its teeth you know so you got to still be a little careful with this you know it comes with a strap the bigger ones do to come up above and close in on the dog you know so it would look something kind of like this right um it goes all the way down to pretty small like size zero i don't have that one i got down to a size two um but they work they're another really good one uh, to use. The other ones that we use here are uh, from a company called Jaffco. Now these ones here work especially well because you can't get your fingers in there. Um, the dog can't reach you or anything like that. The only downside to this is that the dog can't really get food. So what I do with these is I, I poke a little hole in them. I don't know if you can see that. So this allows me to dispense food in here when I'm doing like the muzzle conditioning and just general like feeding with the dog, right? Um, it can't drink really from this. Uh, so you have to be mindful of that. Um, and I also get them in the plastic because they are softer. Some of the other ones are a little bit harder plastic, so it's a bit more rigid. Um, and so I like these ones because they're just a little bit more um, flexible on the muzzle of the dog. They also, again, come in very small sizes to very large sizes. So if you have a bigger dog, this one here fit onto like a Jack Russell. This one here probably fit onto like Great Dane type, okay? Um, and these ones here are available at Jaffco's website, which is www, <laughs> not four W's, only three, uh, jaffco.com. And you can order these, or also leerberg.com has these as well. Um, then another one I like to use, well, I don't know if I really like it, but it does help. Um, there, it's, you know, it's good, but it has some flaws to it as well. 
Um, this one here is what I got from a website called fordogtrainers.com. Now this is a leather muzzle, and this one is made for <clears throat> French bulldogs, or you know dogs that have a, the smushed faces. So this one is, it, it works well, you know, but again, it, the downsides to it is that it gets harder for the dog to drink out of it. Um, you can dispense food into it by poking food through these little holes. It, it can be challenging, but it can be done. Um, <clears throat> these are really the only ones that I've seen that fit for bulldog <clears throat> type muzzles. And it's just a leather-based one. Um, it's really flexible and, you know, it does sit pretty comfortably on the dog. Um, but this is something that I've used in the past um, and it's worked out pretty well. Okay, so that is basically uh, the short little rundown of the different types of muzzles that we use, um, reasons to use them, and what the differences are between those three muzzles. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, have a good day.